Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Muhammad Hassan and in this video I'm going to teach you how to implement the commenting feature on your Gatsby.js website. So if you are running a blog and you want to engage more with your audience, this is a really great way to do so. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you get the notifications for the upcoming content. And without further ado, let's get started. So I'm running a Gatsby.js site myself as my main website and I have a bunch of articles in that already. What I wanted was to basically just add the commenting feature without having to actually reinvent the wheel and implementing everything myself. Although I could have done that using Firebase to add the feature for comments and likes. Right now I have already done it. So if you go to any article on my site and go to the very bottom, you should be able to see this widget. And that is what we are going to build in this particular tutorial. So the only downside I would say is this particular commenting feature is only available for GitHub users, which means that the person commenting on your articles has to have a GitHub account. But considering that we are mostly developers or my videos are mostly watched by developers, I think it's a really good idea to just implement this because you don't have to configure then anything else. One great thing about this implementation is that this basically generates a GitHub issue on your repository for each post. So whenever someone comments on any of your articles, this will automatically create a new GitHub issue and will post all of the comments inside that. The way it works is that it basically uses the GitHub issues search API. And then when you have already provided your repository to this, this brings up all the comments from that repository here, and then it shows it on your particular article. So I'm using something called the Uterensis app, which is free. It has no ads or no tracking whatsoever. It is open sourced and you know that we all love open source libraries. And then you can easily integrate that in your projects just within 10 minutes. So first of all, I've already written an article on this one, as you can see. So if you want to follow along, you can go there and copy all the instructions. In this video, I'm going to just do a hands on so you can see what's happening and how we do things. So first of all, what you would want to do is once you have Node.js installed, I'm assuming that since you're a developer, you have it installed already. But if not, you can just Google it and install it. Once you have done that, you need to run this command, which is npx gatsby new. And then you have to give a name to your project. And then you have to select this starter, which is the blog starter. So I'm going to quickly go and run this command. So on your terminal, you can just go to the target folder where you want to create this project and then just run this command. This should essentially use this starter project and create a folder for you. It will also install all the node dependencies for your particular project. So you can just go ahead and then play around with it. And while I'm installing all the dependencies, one of the things that you need to do is to create a new repository in your GitHub account. So you can quickly go to your GitHub and then do a new repository. I'm going to name it blog with comments. And this should essentially be a new repository. You don't need to select any readme or get ignored. Just create an empty project. And once you are done with that, you should have an empty project right here. Once you are done with that, you need to just copy these commands and run these one by one. So we are going to rename our branch from master to main. And then we are going to add this remote into our project that we created locally. And then we are going to just push it here so we can see the code here. So I am on my console now and I'm going to do CD blog with comments. And then we are going to do git branch dash M and then we are going to name it to main. And then we are going to add the remote as we discussed. And then we are going to do a git push u origin main. And this should essentially push our code to our repository. Now, if I go back to the browser and refresh this, I can see all of my code here and we are good to go. The next thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have this utterances or utterances app installed in your repository. So in order to do that, you need to go to this page and then you need to go to configure section or you should potentially see the installation section. But either way, just make sure that you're selecting your GitHub account and then you go here and then select only select repositories and then you can select the repository by name. So I would go and say blog with comments and then I would save this. This is to make sure that this app has access to the repository because all the comments that are going to be created or all the GitHub issues that are going to be created will be created through this particular application. Once you're done with that, we actually need to do some coding. So I'm going to go and open this into VS code, but you can use whatever editor you are familiar with. And then essentially you can open a terminal and then you just need to run the yarn develop or npm run develop command. 
this should essentially run the server for you so you can see your application in develop mode and then if you go to localhost 8000 you should be able to see your application running so this is the blog that we are talking about and essentially in each blog post at the bottom we should be adding the comment section and in order to do that let's actually start with some coding so first what we need to do is we need to create a comments component that we can add to this blog post template so i'm going to just copy paste this code so i'm just going to copy all of this and then we are going to go into the source folder and inside the components folder we are going to create another file we'll call it comments.js and here we need to paste this code so if we have a quick look at the code what this basically does is that this essentially creates a script element which is the document script tag and then we basically set some attributes to that script and then we append this script to this particular element which is being returned from this component one more thing to notice is that we have to set the cross origin to anonymous then we have to use async true and here in the repo we have to provide your github username and your repository name so here my github username is snios and my repository name is blogs with comments this has to be accurate otherwise this widget will not work obviously as you would expect the theme here is being used as github lite but we have more themes as well that you can find on the website now that we have already added the comments component what we need to do is do some changes in the blog post js as follows so i'm just going to copy this code from here and here in the code if we go to templates blog post.js we need to import our comment component here then we need to get this component registered just around here which would be after this section where we have article body so here we are going to use comments and here we also need to provide the issue term parameter which should be a unique identifier for your blog post which will be basically bound with your github issue name so this has to be unique in order to just do this we need to get the unique url so for that we can go here in the markdown and just below html we can use fields and here we can use slug and then here where we are providing the issue term we can say post.fields.slug and now let's save this so if i refresh my page and go down i can see that we don't have the widget here and the reason is that the name that i provided should be blog with comments whereas this says blogs with comments so i'm going to replace this this also validates that the name should be accurate and now you can see that we have the widget here if you're not logged in on github you would see a sign in with github button here but since i'm already logged in i can see the the comment widget here and i am able to see my picture as well so i can comment right here so if i go back to my code or my repository you can see that we don't have any issues right now but since this is magical i can just say test one two three here actually since this supports markdown i can also kind of highlight it based on what i want so i can just say test one two three and then here i could basically write a code for instance i could say this is going to be a javascript code and here i could say const amazed wow this is amazing and then i could essentially add notes here as well so i could say fun and then if i preview it you can see that we have the markdown being rendered here so i can comment this and then if i go to my issues now i should have created another issue so here if i go you can see that we have the title as the slug which is this url that we have and then here we have this set so if i go inside you can see that this is an issue created by the utterance spot and then it has the title of the blog and also the description of the blog also the url of the blog and then you can see that we also have these comments so i could reply to this comment i could moderate it if i want i can delete it once you are testing with the development you will see that the url is of the development if you wanted to just remove this this whole issue or all the comments from here you can just go ahead and delete this issue and then if i go back to my get fire starter blog i should not be able to see any comments all right so i hope that you liked the video if you did give this a big thumbs up if you have not subscribed to the channel do it right now and let me know in the comments if you implement the same technique on your website or blog and with that let's wrap up this video happy coding and i'm gonna see you in the next one